Hey everybody, Sharon here and welcome to Quiet Ambitions. So I got a really good question on another video that I did um, earlier in the season or a few weeks ago anyway. I did a video on my failure at saving some green bean seeds. What happened is um, it had been raining a bunch and all my beans got wet and soggy and I was expecting them to dry on the vine and it didn't work because we're in a new climate. And so um, I got the question, well, what am I doing for next year? And what I am doing is I'm actually saving another set of green beans. So I planted twice. I did a succession planting of green beans this year. I planted as early as I could, you know, right after the first frost. And then I planted again kind of mid-summer during the heat of the summer, the hot, humid heat of Tennessee. Um, I've never done that before because in Colorado I just planted once and then we just kept picking. But I was told that in this area it's always a good idea to get a second planting of green beans in because once we get past that initial midsummer really humid heat that the plants kind of perk back up again. It starts cooling off just a little bit. It's still hot. Beans are definitely a warm weather plant, but um, they just it's cooling off just enough that intense humid heat is gone and you'll get another crop and it worked and so that's what I did. So I decided to pull off about three of those plants, mark them, put them aside and I saved green bean seeds from them. But I'm not leaving them out in the garden to dry. Um, I left them as long as I could. Um, it's now getting to where we're getting some frosts at night and so I pulled my plants and this is all I did. I just pulled the plants up from the root. I've got about three plants here. Let me think, one, two, three. Yeah, I've got three plants here. Lots of beans on there. This is enough for us to, to replant next year. Once these pods have dried, I will pop them open and um, save those seeds for next year. In the meantime, they're gonna be in here in the greenhouse where they won't get rain. They won't get all soggy and wet. And so hopefully I will have success drying um, some seeds for next year. So um, I was also asked what type of green beans do I grow? So in the past I, I've always done bush beans. We just prefer the bush beans. I've always done, I think they were like a Blue Lake bush bean. I don't even remember initially because like I said I saved them. But this year I tried some a new variety and it's called a strike bean. It comes from MI Gardener. I will leave a link down below. I really liked them. They're a very straight, here, let me pull one off. Okay, now keep in mind, these are overgrown intentionally, but they're a very straight bean, and I found that the beans on the bush kind of all came on almost all at once. So I prefer that because then I can get them all harvested, I can them up, and it works really great for canning. Now, if I were only wanting to grow green beans to eat throughout the season, then that wouldn't be such a good idea because um, they're all ready at once and you wanna be able to pick some, come back a few le days later, pick some again. But these, the majority of the harvest was already at once. Now I did get probably, I'm gonna say three pickings off of them. I harvested the main harvest, waited I think probably four days, I harvested again and then I waited maybe another week and I got a little bit more and each one was successively less amount. That first harvest was the most and so, I really preferred that because then I get all my canning done all at once and it's done and ready to go. So again, this is called a strike bean, very straight pods. I like them and I will probably be planting them again. I have not saved seeds from these before, but it should work. If it doesn't work, I'll do an update, but um, I don't see any reason why it would not. So I hope that was helpful. If you can't leave your beans in the garden, just pull the whole plant out, hang it up in a dry spot and let them dry that way. You guys have a great day and we'll talk to you in the next video.